Okay, now we're going to join the teapot, and this is quite a long process, so I won't show you all of it. Uh, we made the spout, as you remember, on the wheel, and of course there's a back to it where it joined onto the bat, and we need to get rid of some of that, and that is going to sit on the teapot at the right angle up here. So the first thing is to see where the spout comes to a point, mark opposite that on the top of the spout, just where it, um, it would come up, and then we're going to draw a line around it and down so that when it gets to the bottom of the spout, it's as close to the edge as we can make it. And then back up again, and I have to say, this takes more practice than lots of the other parts of the teapot. Partly because we've got a lip on this uh, teapot, so it's going to have to fit that. Then we're going to cut. And we're cutting at a slight angle coming in from the edge, not uh, straight on, so that when it fits against the teapot wall, it's not... Um, sticking out and as I say this you, you know you want to try and get this right in the first instance but it doesn't always happen right there we go and so what we've got is a, um, a rim on it and it will fit onto the side of the teapot I want it to be quite close to the top if you put your, your spout too low down the wall then you don't have so much space for the tea because it will just come out of the spout so in this case, the spout, the bottom of the spout is quite near the top of the teapot. You, you bend that so it fits onto the teapot and then draw very gently a line around where it's going to sit. And um, we're going to score the area where the two will join. Take that off again. And you can see the line. And now we're going to score just inside that line with the knife. Nice and carefully around the edge and it doesn't have to look beautiful but it needs to be good and scuffed up like that and we're going to also score the inside of the teapot um, spout and that way the two surfaces will stick together really well and once that's done now we're going to use some slip now slip is is clay and water nice and thick and we're going to put that onto the spout. Now just to mention, and this has happened to me several times, if you forget to make holes in your teapot where the spout is going to go, your tea will never come out. It'll only come out if you tip it upside down. So using a, a hole maker, this is a hole maker, we're going to make a series of small holes into the, into the teapot wall. And of course, the more holes you make, the more speed with which the tea comes out. I'm gonna make about six and that'll be plenty and we might put one we we'll make seven we we'll put one extra one in the middle there we go so once you have your um, holes and the spout we've already fitted we're now going to fit the spout onto the wall like so and you're going to really need to go around the edge of it with your finger you may sometimes need to put a little bit of extra soft clay in there I'm not going to do that now because it takes quite a while to, to just finish it off. Make sure that the join is really good. And if, like me, you need glasses, don't forget to put them on before you do this. Otherwise, you'll think you've done it beautifully and the next day you'll have a look at it and there'll be a crack in it. OK, so we have the teapot uh, spout on, we have the lid, and now we want to put the handle on. Here's the handle, strange circular device. The handle is going to go on the top like a kettle and we're going to line it up with the side of the pot and we're going to take the knife and using just eyesight going to work out where that would fit onto the teapot it's going to it's going to go round like that and the back it's going to go about the same you don't want to stretch that because they do crack lay that on the table take the knife Actually, I'm going to take a longer knife. I think it will be easier to cut with a full knife. I'm going to come across the line as we marked it. And there we go. And then that, with a bit of messing around, should fit onto the teapot. 
Now in this case, there's not much space at the front. I'm going to take a little bit more off it at the front, a little bit off the back, and that'll help it fit on. That's the front and the back. Okay, so the back fits in quite nicely. The front fits in behind the spout. And you need to make sure it's vertical. So line it up with the teapot on a vertical level. And then marking the, the front and the back, you can score where it joins. Put plenty of slip on, as we just did earlier, with the spout. And when that's uh, stuck on, score both surfaces, stick it together. And then where there are little gaps, you can just see here some little gaps behind this, the spout. You need to use soft clay to fill those up. I'm not going to do that because it's a long time on the video. There we go.